thank you all so much for joining today. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, before we go any further, just wanted to highlight a couple of uh, things coming out in the Airflow community on this slide. Um, like Kenton was saying, we have a lot of stuff coming in New York City in the next two weeks. Uh, we have an intraday Airflow workshop at uh, Pi Data on you know, a week from tomorrow. Um, the week after that, we have an Airflow meetup with the folks at Etsy. Um, and then also on the East Coast, we have um, another Airflow meetup in, uh, in the DC area. So if you're at any, any of those places, uh, please feel free to check those out. Um, additionally, some content that we have um, that I'm really excited about, um, this new Quick Start uh, that you can run entirely in your browser. Um, we're actually going to be using that for the workshop on 412. So um, give that a go. And then we have a great webinar coming up on passing data between tasks, which is always one of the hardest but most important things in Airflow. That's actually a lot easier than it used to be. Um, as always, please join the Airflow Slack and reach out to us about Airflow Medium. Um, additionally, Airflow Summit. Uh, please go to Airflow Summit and register for, um, sorry, submit a CFP for Airflow Summit. Uh, it's September 19th to 21st in Toronto. Uh, there's plenty of good stuff there coming. Um, but in the meantime, please go ahead and submit a proposal. Um, we're going to be helping some folks with their proposals out in the next couple of weeks. Um, awesome. And then, you know, oh, did I freeze? No, <laughs> we're good. Oh, you're good. Right. Um, um, Kenton, I will hand it over to you um, <laughs> as our lead developer advocate to talk about um, debugging some connections in Airflow today. Yeah, thanks, Faraj. I will throw out on the community uh, front, if you stay until the end, we have a little gift for everybody uh, who showed up today. So um, hang in there for that. We'll go back to those slides. Um, but yeah, as Baraj said today, I'm going to be talking about Airflow connections, uh, which is a great topic in Airflow. Um, we will have time for Q&A at the end, so feel free to throw any questions in the chat or in the Zoom's Q&A feature. We'll get to those. Um, we'll also send out the recording afterwards. So. If you want to watch it again um, and kind of go through everything uh, a little slower, you can do that as well. Um, so Airflow connections are uh, really one of the kind of basic pieces within Airflow that almost everybody is going to have to use. Um, it's one of the first things that you have to set up to get your DAGs to work, you know, because Airflow is designed to work with other tools and orchestrate other tools, you always have to connect to them. Usually people don't have things uh, that you can connect to without credentials, or at least we hope you don't. Uh, so connections are really important. Um, there are lots of ways that you can work with connections in Airflow. Um, today, I'm just going to be going through a couple of ways to test them that might make your life a little bit easier. Um, again, they're kind of one of the biggest pieces in debugging Airflow DAGs often because they're sort of the first thing that needs to work correctly in order for your DAGs to work. Uh, so I'm going to go through two options, um, both of which are relatively new in Airflow, so you may not be aware of them, but we think are really helpful. Um, for the first one, I'm going to be working with Airflow uh, here in my local environment. And just to show you, I have a DAG set up. Um, this is a pretty basic DAG. It just has one task that runs a query, um, and it's going to use a connection to Snowflake. So that's what I'm going to be working with here today. Um, and this first method of testing connections um, was new. It was released in Airflow 2.5. And actually, it's not just for testing connections, but really for testing your DAGs in general. And that's this DAG.test command. Um, again, this was released in Airflow 2.5. And the really cool thing about DAG.test is that it allows you to uh, test your Airflow DAGs without actually running Airflow. So you do not have to run a scheduler. Um, you don't have to run a web server. Uh, you can do this all within your local environment. You just have to have Airflow and all of your relevant packages installed in whatever uh, environment you're working with. Um, this is going to test the entire DAG, but you can also pass in connections. So to use DAG.test in general, uh, you just have to add this code block uh, to the end of your DAG file. Uh, if you're not using it to test connections, you don't need this connection path. Um, but since that's what we're talking about here, uh, we're going to include that. So DAG.test will run all of your uh, the tasks in your DAG. And it's going to do so very quickly because it's not actually running through the Airflow scheduler. It's just going to use a single serialized Python process. 
Um, if you are going to use it to test connections, uh, like I am here, you have to provide a path to a YAML file, which is where you're going to define that connection. So uh, we're going to start with this incorrect connections YAML, which, as you can imagine, is going to be an incorrect uh, set of information. But you can see here in this YAML, I define the Snowflake connection. And then I have all of the pieces that I would put into this connection. So if you're used to entering your connections in the Airflow UI, this is going to look very similar. It's just kind of in a different format. Um, so I put in everything that I need to connect to Snowflake, but you can see in this case, there are some issues. I didn't provide a password, um, which was intentional. Don't want to show that here on a live video. Um, I've also put in a not our actual account for our account. So this connection isn't going to actually work. It doesn't have all of the required uh, credentials to connect to Snowflake. But this is how I have to define a connection, again, to use this function. Um, that's all I have to do. So then within dag.test in your dag file, again, in this case, I am going to pass an execution date uh, or sometime next year. Um, this could be more specific if you actually needed a, a particular execution date for your dag. Um, and then for my con file path, I just pass in this con path. And again, this is, um, I've stored these YAML files in my include directory here in my project. Um, from there, all I have to do is uh, run this Python file. So I'm going to do this here in my VS Code terminal. You can also do this uh, using like a uh, debugging function in your editor, kind of however you prefer to debug. But when I go ahead and run this DAG, just like I would any other Python file, um, again, it's going to do all this super quickly. So very little task latency again, because we're not actually, I don't actually have Airflow running in this case. And you can see it's going to go ahead and kick out an error that says the password is empty. Um, so again, this is a great way to test your entire DAG, not just your connections. But if you set it up in this way, um, it's a great way to test them locally uh, without having to actually run Airflow. So you can make sure everything's all set up uh, before you actually go to run. Um, because this is going to run your entire DAG, you may decide to uh, you know, break things up as you're developing. If you're truly looking to only test your connections and not the rest of your tasks, uh, you might have like a subset of your DAG that you work on first that uses those connections uh, and then goes ahead and runs through. We have another uh, live where we've gone through this function in a little bit more depth that shows how you can add things like breakpoints, which might be helpful if you want to test the connections first and then move on to the rest of your DAG. Uh, there's really a lot you can do with this. Again, you have to be on Airflow 2.5, so this is a great reason to upgrade if you're on an older version of Airflow. We've gotten lots of great feedback from the community that uh, this feature is really game-changing in terms of locally working with your DAGs. Um, Cool. And so then I also want to show an option for if you are running Airflow. Uh, so from there, I'm going to go over to my Airflow UI. I'm running locally using the Astro CLI. This is going to be relevant for any time that you're running uh, Airflow, uh, whether it's local or a managed service or something like that. Uh, if you're familiar with connections, you probably already know that if you go to admin here in connections, this is where you can manually add your connection information. Um, and then this feature was uh, released, I think, in Airflow 2.2. So hopefully everybody is on a, a newish version enough to use this, but uh, it's relatively new um, in Airflow. So this is my connection form where I would fill in all my information. You can see I've got some issues here as well. I don't have a password. I don't have an account in here, both of which I would need to connect to Snowflake. Um, but there's this nifty little test button here in the Airflow UI, which you can use to test the connection. And then if I scroll back up, you'll see I get an error that says password is empty. Um, I'm not going to throw my password in here uh, right now, again, just to avoid showing that um, in a public video. But if you were to test this and there are no issues, you'll see a little green banner that says everything's good with your connection. So um, definitely recommend using this, especially if you are in the habit of entering connections here in the Airflow UI. Um, to just go ahead and try that uh, before you actually use your DAGs, it'll save you a lot of time if you have any issues with your connections, especially if you have longer running tasks and you just want to make sure that this part is not going to cause any issues. Um, cool. So that was my, as promised, super quick uh, rundown of my two favorite ways of testing connections right now. Again, these are not the only way. Um, there are lots of other ways to define uh, connections in Airflow aside from just the UI. Uh, or in that YAML file using dag.test. Um, 
And I will also use this as a plug to highlight that Airflow 2.6 is coming out uh, soon in the next uh, month or so. And there will be a new feature uh, released in 2.6 that will allow you to test your connections uh, using the Airflow CLI. Um, so that I'm super, super excited for. Uh, I'm trying to find the PR for that and throw it in the chat if anybody's interested. Um, I think I've got it somewhere around here, um, but something to look out for as another alternative for making that testing uh, a little easier. Cool. And with that, I will open it up if there are any questions. Awesome, Kenton. Thanks for going through that. Um, there is one question from Munir that I think we have time for is, does the test command support mocking responses from hooks using co the connection, or is it actually testing the connection itself? That's a good question. So in this case, the way I have it set up, it is actually testing the connection because dag.test is actually running your tasks. Um, so you are making a real connection there um, based on the information. Um, again, this function is not specifically for testing connections. It's just for testing your DAG. Um, so I, I find it to be a convenient way to do so. Um, but you're not mocking the connection in the sense that like you are connecting to the actual resource. You could potentially um, set something up that would do that if that's what you were looking for, but that's not what it's going to do out of the box. Yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome. I hope that answers that, Munir. I think that's all the questions that came up. Um, Kenton, you said that there was a special treat for everyone to stay till the end. So I'll pass yes. the mic back to um, you one more time. Great. I love that. Well, I hope that that lack of questions means that everybody is off running to use DAG.test immediately. Um, definitely reach out to us uh, for more on that. And um, yes, as promised, uh, our well gift to everybody who joined us today is we have a free code for our Airflow Fundamentals certification exam. Um, so I'm going to throw this in the chat as well. Um, if I can find where I can copy it. Um, oh, and actually, sorry, I have the wrong one on this slide. So use the one that I put in the chat. Um, Airflow webinar fundamentals meetup. Um, but uh, this is a great way um, if you're new to Airflow and uh, want to learn more about things like connections and other Airflow topics, uh, taking the course and then uh, getting certified is a great boost to put on your resume. And like I said, a great way to learn more about Airflow. So I'm going to give everybody um, that as well. Um, and yeah, I think that that's all I got. Awesome. All right, everyone. Well, we look forward to you all using the certification codes. And uh, thank you all so much for your time. Um, you know, these live sessions are action packed and short, but uh, we hope that they were helpful. And, um, you know, we hope to see you next time. Um, thank you all so much and happy Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Right.